guys, it's Liv. Today I will be reacting to episode two of Chucky season three. I heard some pretty intense things about episode two, so it sounds like Chucky is up to his old habits again. Also, I'm really sorry for all of these delays. I am honestly completely off schedule for what I really wanted to post, but there have been so many obstacles that I've run into with really starting to get back into making YouTube videos again and all of these little tedious things that I have to make sure I'm following with these reaction videos specifically. I love doing it, nothing's gonna stop me, but things are coming out a little bit later than expected, but I am going to continue the Halloween haunts, of course, into November. So make sure you hit that notification bell and subscribe button so you know when I upload my next videos. And enough chit chat, let's just get right into the episode. Previously on fucking Chucky. Last year, my sister Caroline was kidnapped. Lexi Go said, previously you. on fucking Go Chucky. Chucky's in the White House. How are we supposed to get the most secure house in the Yeah, what are they gonna do first? What about a personal invite? This is the president's very cute, very obsessed with social son, Grant. Wow, he is cute. Oh, so are you gonna thirst trap Brett? Have you seen the news? Is that Chucky in the White House? Yeah. And I'm late to the party, aren't I? Yeah. Big time. I can't just stand back and let more innocent people get killed. Yeah, he killed our parents. We have to do something. I mean, that's true. He did kill her parents oh. very brutally. Sorry, I so I feel like I would have some motive as well. Not alone. I'm going with you. But see, who else is he going to kill before they get there? Me and Joseph can't sleep. Why in the hell does Joseph have a knife? Why does he need a knife to sleep? Think about that. Okay, Henry, you know this isn't... Oh, okay. not the creepy stare. He gave him that side eye. See, I would also like fully just tell. <gasps> no, ma'am. <sighs> eyeballs. It's eyeballs this time. I love it. The pancake guy. <laughs> what I was saying before is that I would fully tell that child that the doll is not real. It's not like a make-believe thing like Santa Claus where you never see it. So like, you know, you can, you can tell them that it's real for a little bit and then bring it to them later. But you, like the doll is clearly not real. But in this case, it is real, so. But he wants to be close to you. I'm sure he does want to be close to you. Oh. I don't see the harm in Joseph missing one more day of school. So like, is Chucky's plan to kill the president and then take his place? Is he going to come out and be like, hey, yeah, I'm a doll, but like, vote for me. <laughs> I'm not usually on coffee detail. I love how Chucky is mm -hmm. just sitting there in the background, lurking, listening to everything. Is there anything about Agent Brooks that's keeping you up at night? Anything about his mood in the days prior to his death? Also, I don't know if this is reaching, but I noticed that they had a whole season and it took place at a church and that was the theme the whole time. And then this season is like a political theme the whole time they're at the White House. So I feel like it's a parallel to American Horror Story because of Asylum. That whole season was in the Asylum. And then of course was Colt, that was the political season, so. I got it from Barack as a gift. Barack still owes me 10 bucks. <laughs> so, it turns out Grant is more than your average fuck boy. Oh, more than my mother, rest her soul, ever did. You know, even though her mom was shitty, she did not deserve to be sliced in half like that with the chainsaw. Hi, my name is Lexi. I'm reaching out to Grant Collins. My sister Caroline is still missing. Hopefully that gets their attention. Oh God, is he about to die? Y'all, every time they show a character alone, whoo, Every time they show a character alone, I feel like it's their moment. Yeah, they're tiny. I swear to God, if he just brushes that off. Hey Lyle, say hey to my followers. Loser. 
To bring her home, we need to keep her name in people's mouths. Hey, girl. Really? That's his opener? Hey, girl. <laughs> I'm pulling the trigger. I really like your energy. We should meet in person. Did you ever find the letter opener? I did not. I also managed to lose track of Henry's doll somehow. Oh, God, is this when she dies? I would have left that door open just in case, since there's a guard out there. Oh, no. This is not good. This is... He's about to come alive. I know it. I know it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that was like a lot of... Okay. Okay. That's... What the fuck? Stop it. Get some help. in the fourth wall after slicing the the way her head just continued to oh shit he's gonna Marie. go in there and find her semper fi i guess they're trying to one up last season so they're trying to be more with the kills so that that was definitely more Why is he reacting like that, though? Why would he not want him to know? Call the police. We need the FBI in here. We need Coop. Yeah. Where's I will go get him right now. Matt. I need you to get a hold of yourself. There is a killer in the White House. We know that now. It's safe to assume that the killer is also responsible for Agent Brooks' death. That's exactly why we need to think. Oh, that makes sense. Why he was, like, acting calm. Okay. How would you even hide that? Are you kidding? <laughs> like, quickly, too. Spencer. It's like all carpet in there. <gasps> Jesus. Who are those dudes? And how are they okay? Are, are they hired? They're just okay with putting a body in there? Lucy, we're grateful to have you here. It's just, it's not like Samantha to be out this long without checking in. Well, I mean, is no one gonna ask where the other lady went? Would you send someone to check on I mean, I guess her? he is, yeah. See if she so. needs anything. Tell me how they cleaned up all of that blood off of the carpet. And in the event it goes really sideways, we're gonna meet back at home base. Watergate Hotel, room 1105. Show's probably gonna go sideways. Lexi. It's Chucky. Hey. Yeah. Oh, oh, Grant. Devin, how's it going? What's up? Hey, Grant. I didn't know what you guys wanted, so I figured, why not get it all? Because I can. My beef jerk. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so glad I saw you, Lex. I get so many tags a day; it's hard for any of them to stand out. You know. Yeah. I can't imagine. It says you guys don't follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, take your phones out now. You guys, you guys gotta follow me. Um, chill. I like how it's that big of a concern. Um, and look about your sister. Um, I'll do what I can to help. Thanks. Okay. Um, that was a total boner killer. Woo. Okay. Uh, let's talk about something else. Right. Yeah. I just, <laughs> this feels cool. Yeah, I mean, two hot people meeting usually does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> it's like so surface level. I mean, they just met, but. 
You ever been to the White House? Ooh, there's your ticket in, girl. Gotta take it, you know. Gotta do what you gotta do. How can he not tell that his wife, like, always looks worried, you know? I mean, just... I don't know. I thought it was rude to ask. First Teddy, now Samantha. I feel like we don't even know the people working with us anymore. <laughs> Aww. I said it in the last episode reaction. I'm so happy that they're both still okay and they can just be together. Oh, that was a really cute shot with like the stumbling feet and everything. And I love you. So let's fucking do this. Hey. Just asking for gluten free fun. It's not that hard, you know? Never mind. Uh, awkward. <laughs> I could meet with their foster mother, tell her a little bit about the expectations and the protocols, and see if she thinks that they can handle it. Thank you. Oh. I hope that the mom doesn't die in this season. Consummating uh, your relationship is an important milestone for every couple, but... We need to cover some basics first and establish some boundaries, okay? This isn't a bathhouse. It's safe sex. Do we understand that even with a- She has papers, um, oh my. A female involved, there's still some safety concerns. You can yes. skip that one. <laughs> Fantastic. Next up, topping and bottoming. We're good there too. We are. <laughs> we'll talk. Prepping for penetration. Oh, 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 oh my God. Okay. I would not be able to handle that either. I'd be like, can you just... The internet will teach us. Well, make sure you guys are gone for longer than 10 minutes next time. It's all any parent could ask for. <laughs> Although talking about it is important, so... Once we get into the Halloween Gala, how are we supposed to find Chucky? How do we get him alone? How do we get him to tell us where Caroline is? How can... Okay. You're right. Let's make a plan. Yeah, I wonder where she is, where she's hiding, like, because if he's in the White House, he's away from her, so, like, is she, I'm assuming she's with, you know, Tiffany. You have to assume Chucky will stay upstairs in the residence, so we'll need Grant to invite us up. Me and Jake can find Chucky, but you'll have to keep Grant distracted. As much as I would rather not, that won't be a problem. They have suffered. Is he in the vents? Is that what that? Oh my god. I know that you know what it looks like when children shoulder too much grief too young. I'd be willing to bet that Grant feels the same way. Will you excuse me for a moment? Oh, of course. I would want to try to snoop, but I'd also be afraid that there's cameras in there, you know? Someone with absolutely no respect whatsoever for human life. Someone very clever, extremely dangerous. Yes. And very, very ill. That's Chucky. That's the perfect way to describe him, actually. So, you got that right. I would have mentioned the tiny footprints that I saw, and I would have tried to see where they were leading to. I feel like he didn't look hard enough. I just got a weird feeling. She's not gonna die, is she? A few moments later. Ooh, girl. Oh, I just couldn't resist the thought of making those kids orphans one more time. Oh my god. No! Slam his ass against the wall. Do something. Oh my god, no. Not with the American flag. Oh my god, no. No. Oh my god. 
god. So now I can't. Oh my god. Three down, three to go. And yet you're no closer to catching this killer out there. I will do Yes, someone actively got killed during this conversation that you both are having. It's for you, Mrs. President. Since you like cleaning up after me, I thought I'd leave you a fresh one. Wrapped it up nice and pretty too, just like Christmas morning. <laughs> the flag is the murder weapon. Calling the police. I wouldn't do that, Mrs. Collins. What is in the envelope? I didn't vote for your husband. Not that I don't think he's an honorable man. Your husband's presidency, be over before it barely began. But I do know what he stands for. And I think that's worth protecting. Is Chucky about to show himself for the first time to the president? Why don't they ever just turn on a light? You're gonna be invited. Great. It's her. No, it's not. There we go. Can you see me now? Where's Miss Fairchild? That was a creepy face. She had to go spend some quality time with your dead parents. Even cleaned up my mess for me. God bless America. We're coming for you, Chucky. No. I'm waiting for you, Lexi. I'm waiting on pins and needles for all of you. I got a feeling that this is gonna be our Bloodiest Halloween yet. Oh, the bloodiest Halloween yet. This is going to be very interesting to see. I mean, that death of the assistant was already very, again, visual, gory. Like, I mean, and because it's horror comedy, you know, it's a little ridiculous at the same time. I think this puts the kill count at three so far. So it's been two episodes three deaths, and he says there's three more to go, but um, I feel like there's gonna be more in between. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode. I will also be reacting to episode three here very soon, so I will be getting that up as soon as I can. And of course, hit that like button if you enjoyed this episode as well. Hit that notification bell and subscribe button so you'll know when I upload my next episode reaction. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay spooky. Bye!